today with Frankfurt with Heiko and Ralph. Hello, Ralph. Hello, Heiko. Hi, Julie. Julie. So a lot of our customers are on cloud strategies, including their contact center solution. But how does it work for difficult countries like China, who has a lot of low regulation? Yeah, with China, you certainly picked uh, one of the most challenging, maybe the most challenging country all over the planet. Um, so one topic is that uh, data centers need uh, to be owned by Chinese uh, companies with um, foreign investments less than 50%. Um, additionally, all personal data is not allowed to leave China and that's not only applicable for the um, customer data but also for the contact center agents. So that means if you want to operate a contact center from a third country, um, then you would somehow need to change the log files in a way that you can either not use them or you're not legally compliant. Um, so Heiko, I know that you uh, dealt with one of our clients recently, so what was the outcome? Yeah, we have one um, customer that has contact center services uh, by us in uh, all the parts of the world. And for Asia Pacific, they have that deployed in Singapore. But for this contact center service um, to be used in China, they need uh, some instances of the service being deploy deployed in China mainland because of the regulation you just mentioned. And um, now these two data centers have to speak to each other in Singapore and China, and there's the great Chinese firewall in between, so we have to find a way to, to get around this. And this is really challenging because, um, yeah, you have to um, come maybe into gray zones where you can use, for instance, the customer one, but that's a gray zone, it's not officially allowed, and you maybe, or the customer maybe get in trouble with that. And uh, so we have um, tried several scenarios and solutions, and it's really something you need to closely watch what you propose to the customer so that you comply with the rules and you get a proper service. So it's not a one-fits-all solution. It depends what the customer also wants. And uh, yeah, we have to, to look case by case how it can be handled. Yeah, and we continue to work with all of our contact center um, partners, so the vendors of the contact center technologies, um, because they're all interested to find a solution sure, for China, sure. uh, which is important for almost all of our international clients, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, some of the vendors have uh, said, be careful with Chinese market. Um, one vendor called Genesis has, has officially stated that we should not propose the solutions currently because of these regulations and because the regulation can change overnight or over next week or something like that. So it's really challenging, but of course we are looking always for solutions for our customers. Yeah, so this is a complex situation where it we is. need to analyze case by case and not have a solution for all companies. So Not one size fits all yes, at least, yeah. Exactly. That's right. So thank you for your answers and thank you for watching. See you next week for a new Tech Trends topic.